Dudes and dudettes, DudeGamer.com, your source for Halo games and sci-fi entertainment. <laughs> Dude here, how was that? <laughs> One of the most iconic scenes in movie history. The design of the alien in Ridley Scott's science fiction horror masterpiece, which had some moviegoers literally crawling out of the theater. No, I'm not shitting you. That really happened. Ridley Scott and some other movie producers watched screenings of Alien from 1979 before the movie was fully released and they found that it scared the shit out of people. <laughs> the Alien, of course, is based on artist H.R. Geiger's original lithograph entitled Necronom No. 4. The endoperistoid extraterrestrial anthropodal species captured our imaginations and bathed us in pure fear ever since. So the movies that followed up Alien from 1979 were Aliens in 1986, which was a phenomenal film. And when I was a kid, I read the book before the movie came out and I was just enthralled with this film. My heart was just pounding out of my chest when I watched Aliens back in 1986. Alien 3 came out in 1992, which really sucked. Alien Resurrection in 1997. And a lot of fans of the Alien franchise kind of called that a money grab. And you know, the dude, I, I've got to agree with that. Although the film wasn't that bad, it had some pretty decent special effects and pretty cool scenes. And then finally, years later, more than a decade, Prometheus came out. So what do we got next? Alien Paradise Lost? Or is it Alien Covenant? Or Alien 5 for God's sake? Well, they're saying that the title Alien Paradise Lost has been scrapped by Ridley Scott in favor of Alien Covenant. There are rumors that the movie will be released October 6th, 2017. What about Alien 5? Well, that has been somewhat confirmed over the past year that they were going to start production on it, but it has since been shelved. But they are talking about a possible release date of maybe 2019? We'll see. They say they're saying they want to see how Alien Covenant does first. Now, I'm not even going to go into the Aliens vs. Predator films that almost killed the franchise. You know, what the hell were they thinking? I mean, that's a total money grab right there. Aliens vs. Predator. Werewolf vs. Frankenstein, what the hell? We don't need that kind of crap in our Alien universe, dammit. But you know, the latest installment in the Alien universe from famed director Ridley Scott, a prequel to Alien was Prometheus, released in 2012. And I really gotta say, I really enjoyed the special effects in that film, really neat. You know, the cast was pretty damn awesome with Numi Rapace and Michael Fassbender, but the writing could have been a little bit better in my opinion. So what about the next Alien film? Will it be another prequel to Alien? or a sequel. So it's kind of getting a bit confusing, right? <laughs> Will the next film in the Alien universe be a prequel or a sequel some years later after Alien Resurrection? Hmm, I don't know. Let's look into this. Before the development of Prometheus, Ridley Scott was interested in another Alien movie featuring Ripley, played by Sigourney Weaver. Oh yes, she's awesome. A great heroine for the Alien films, she's awesome. But instead, Ridley decided he was going to begin work on a prequel to the Alien movie with Prometheus. And now, present day, rumors are swirling that Ridley Scott was to begin work on Prometheus 2. People were getting really excited about the next Prometheus, although reception of the movie wasn't that great. So just then, as we were getting super excited about the next movie from Ridley Scott, concept art landed on the net from Neil Blomkamp, which hit his Instagram feed advertising that he was interested in making the next Alien movie, and possibly several prequels or sequels. Sigourney Weaver was very interested in making another Alien movie also, as long as Neil Blomkamp was directing. It was said that work had begun on this Alien project in 2015, although no official word had been sent forth from studios. The film was supposedly going to be a direct sequel to Aliens, totally disregarding Alien 3, which sucked, <laughs> and Alien Resurrection. Rumors that actor Michael Bean, who played Corporal Hicks, and Bill Paxton Hudson, through private conversations, had possibly been contacted about the project. Lately, it is reported that the project is now on hold till next year, 2017, or maybe on hold indefinitely until the sequel to Prometheus is made and Alien Covenant is the latest title. So what is this thing, Alien Covenant? Is it Prometheus 2? Is it Alien 5? Nobody really knows, but I have my own ideas. 
and I'm sure you do too. Some think there's an internal fight between directors and writers about the direction of the Alien universe and franchise. Poor fan reaction to offshoot prequel Prometheus also may have changed the mind of director Ridley Scott on Prometheus 2 to instead incorporate a more original Alien storyline with original Alien movie elements from Alien and Aliens. Of course, directed by James Cameron. Man, he's a freaking genius, just like Ridley Scott. Other fans of the Alien universe are saying, is it possible that director Neil Blomkamp was just testing the waters with his Instagram release of his artwork to gauge the reaction to Alien 5 in collaboration with Ridley Scott, so they'd know where to go next? It's very possible. Are film companies afraid to come up with anything new and untested? For some reason, more and more money than ever is being dumped into new movies nowadays, so the film industry is becoming very skittish about making something totally new or groundbreaking. So this could have just been a probe <laughs> sent out by Neil Blomkamp and Ridley Scott to test our interest in the Alien franchise. You know, I don't know what the big deal was. Look at this. Prometheus made more money than the other Alien movies, but it also had the biggest budget. Wow. You know, again, I thought Prometheus was all right. The story could have been written a little bit better, though. I thought the engineers were cool and opened an interesting prospect for alternate storylines within the Alien universe. The cliffhanger, in my opinion, at the end was amazing, and I really hope Numi Rapace reprises her role in Prometheus 2, as now they are saying she will not be a part of the cast in Alien Covenant. Oh man, that sucks. Hmm, let me daydream for a minute. No, I don't think Alien Covenant is a sequel to Prometheus. I think that's Alien 5. Could be wrong though. I hope Neil Blomkamp is working closely with Ridley Scott on Covenant, and I hope it's not a sequel to Prometheus, because I'm really interested to see where Numi will end up in Prometheus 2. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm awake now. So that's probably complete BS, but you know, you can dream, right? Now for some new information. Rumors are saying that Alien Covenant will connect directly with the original 1979 Alien film, and that it will be in fact a Prometheus sequel. The film will focus on the crew of a colony ship that discovers an uncharted world whose sole inhabitant is Synthetic David. Yes, the robot dude. Of course, played by Michael Fassbender, the lone survivor of the doomed crash Prometheus expedition from Zeta Reticuli. So it sounds like Prometheus with alien flavor. <laughs> That's probably what they're making. As to why Nubi Rapace will not be reprising her role as Dr. Elizabeth Shaw is unknown. It could be that they're killing the Prometheus alternate storyline altogether which is most likely the reason. Her character may die by the hand of a xenomorph shown at the end of Prometheus after David and Dr. Shaw flew away aboard the engineer ship. So it looks like now Catherine Waterston is expected to play the lead role or heroine as Daniels in Alien Covenant. This is very interesting. You know, Ridley Scott said that Prometheus held a soft R rating and now he wants to go back to a more hardcore hard R rating taking the franchise back to its roots from the first movie with more intense horror. Wow, this is a lot to swallow. But you know, if this information is correct, then I'll be very excited to watch the next film either way. And let's hope Neil Blomkamp's Alien 5 comes to fruition next, as Ridley Scott will probably get tired of making these movies anyhow. I loved Neil's concept art, and it would be great to see Ripley, Hicks, and Hudson again. Hey dudes and dudettes, if you liked the video, I hope you subscribe and click like because it helps out the channel. Be sure to comment below. I'd love to see your comments. To listen to the podcasts, head on over to DudeGamer.com, listen on the player, and subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher Radio. DudeGamer.com, your source for Halo, games, and sci-fi entertainment. See you on the battlefield. This is Dude.